Microsoft Word can be used to take data from the Word document itself and push it or promote it as information in the SharePoint document library columns as metadata. Now this functionality is referred to or is called Quick Parts. This metadata information that gets populated into the SharePoint document library could then be used to filter data, to sort data, and also to create various views of data within the library. Let me show you how you can use an expense report form template using this functionality. We'll start here by going to the site actions, site settings, and now we're going to go to site content types because we need to make a new content type for expense report. So the name here is going to be simply expense report. It will be a document content type. And we're going to go ahead and put it into a new arbitrary group. We'll just call it AdventureWorks or AW. So our content type is done. We're going to make a new site column for the content type. And that will be employee. The employee is going to be a single line of text site column. We're going to put this into a new group as well, AdventureWorks. Now this is the AdventureWorks group for site column. The other one was for the content type. We need a couple more site columns here. So we'll make a new site column for this content type. Call it department. This will be a choice column and we'll define some choices. Okay, we're going to put it into the AdventureWorks group and the choice is going to be IT marketing and we have production and HR. Okay, so we got four choices. The first one, IT was a default, but we're removing this right now. Next side column we'll create. This side column is going to be the expense. And of course, this is going to be currency. Once again, we're going to put the AdventureWorks group. And that's it for this one. So we have employees, department, expense. In the advanced settings for the content type, we need to define a template for this expense report. Now, I don't have a template, so I'm bringing up Word. In Microsoft Word, I will make a new template from scratch. Of course, you want to make this nice and fancy in reality, but we're going to make it simple here. Name, department, expense are going to be the three, the three placeholders here, basically, for the information. And I'm going to just be saving this as a document template. So I'll put it into the templates folder. Okay, we'll simply rename this as expense doc. Okay, so now we have a document template for expense report. I'll browse to this document template from this advanced settings screens that I have. And I'm going to select it. So now this will become a part of this content type. The template will become a part of the content type. Here it is. Okay, so going to the specific document library where I want this to be shown, I'm going to the library settings and advanced settings for that. We need to make sure to allow management of content types. So now you'll see the content type section. Here you can say now add from existing content type and then pick from AW the expense report content type. Right, so this expense report content type is what we had made and now it's associated here to this document library. Going into it, and going into advanced settings, here's our expense report doc. I'm going to go ahead and modify this template this time. So I'm going into the template that's part of this content type that's associated to the documents library. And then within the template expense doc, I need to put in some quick parts. This is what makes the whole functionality work. From insert tab, you have the quick parts icon. And here, when you go into the document, okay, I can move the screen a little bit, the document property. I have all these different properties I can choose from. 
So you'll see this in a second that I'm putting in the choices, my department, employee, my expense, all that stuff I'm going to put in right in front of the labels that I have in this expense report template. Okay, so these will be living columns. These will be dynamic columns. Here they are. And a person can actually put this information in the document when they're filling out the document using this template and it will become part of the library as metadata. You'll see how. First, I'm just going to go ahead, save this template. Okay, so I'm back, save this template. Great. Now the next thing over here, I'm going to go ahead and go over here to my library once more. I'm going to modify this view. I need to modify the view of this library to show a, a set of particular columns that I want to see. And in my case, of course, that's going to be the employee column, the expense column, the department, all the different side columns that I had created as part of the content type. Okay, now I'll change the ordering a little bit of when they show up. All right. Clicking OK brings me back to the library. Now you can see the columns in this view, the employee department expense. Now we'll make a new expense report document and see what happens. So when you make a new expense report document, it, it shows that document template, of course, that we had modified. And here it is. Now I can go ahead and define an employee, define a department, or choose a department actually because it's a choice column and then put an expense. And all that information is going directly into the document information panel up above. The document information panel, also known as DIP, is showing me the metadata which will later get promoted into the library as columns. These are all server properties. Okay, so let me go ahead and save this here. I'm saving it to doc the same documents library, which is the shared documents library simply with the name Asif's Expenses. And now you'll see what happens with this information. Okay, it becomes part of the library. It shows, it will show in just a second, all the information in the library. There we go. And then you can use this information to sort, to filter, to create new views. You can even use this information in workflows that are attached to this library. So there's lots of different usage scenarios for this information that have now been promoted from the actual document library or the document to the document library as columns.